Here we go, church. Like I told you in part one, he separate. He created a heaven. Now, he has many heavens. There's not just one heaven. But he is referring to the heaven that is connected to this earth. Because as we are the third planet from the sun, there is a third heaven that is connected to this earth. He created a heaven. And he separated the waters that were under the heavens from the water which was above the heavens. He separated people. And he put some of them into heaven and some of them he left on the earth. Just like we know he'll do in the later days. I hope I was able to help you establish that word because I really want you to get that revelation because it is really amazing what the Holy Spirit is revealing to us from the beginning that, that Jeremiah is seeing a church here in the beginning. He's seeing the place, y'all, where Satan and Lucifer fell from. He is telling us what happened here, that they were murderers. John 8 and 44, Jesus tells us that the devil was a murderer from the beginning. Did that ever make you think? Didn't you ever say, hmm? Did, that, did you ever have that moment? Who did he kill in the beginning? I tell you who he killed in the beginning. He killed those people that was in Genesis uh, in Genesis 1 in, uh, in the beginning and in Jeremiah 4 and 23. That church that was here in the beginning of the world, and we see that the exact same thing will happen. And if you'll read in, on into Genesis uh, chapter 2, you'll see that Egypt is here on the earth in Genesis 2 and 10 and 11. You'll see that the Assyrian uh, kingdom is here on this earth. They are still nations on this earth while Adam is in paradise. That's the good stuff right there, y'all. Now, in Genesis 1 and 10, he called the, the dry land earth now in psalm 68 and 6 it says the rebellious dwell in a dry land now in genesis 1 and 10 he says the gathering here we go church the gathering together of the waters called he sees now that's revelation knowledge from the holy ghost here we go revelations chapter 16 verses 14 and 16 we see them gathering together for the battle of armageddon to battle against Jesus Christ. Revelations 19 and 19. In the book of Luke 21 and 25. When Jesus returns to this earth. He will have to do battle. And in a little bit. I'm going to tell you why. And it says that in Luke 21 and 25. It says the distress of the nations. With the perplexity. The seas and the waves roaring. That's Revelation right there church. Psalm 65 and verse 7 says that the still the noise of the sea and the noise of the waves. Jeremiah 51 and 55, read that word, people. That is Babylon. Isaiah 17 verses 12 and 13 says, Woe to the multitude of many people would make the noise like the noise of a sea and the rushing of many waters. How you like that? Did you see that word? that revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. He's taken us through the prophet Jeremiah. We're getting to see what Jeremiah saw. He says that he saw the mountains that were here in the beginning. He says they trembled. He sees that they were birds. And he sees that Zion was here in the beginning. And that the fierceness and the wrath of God was also here. We see that Jesus did come to the earth in Genesis 1 and 3. He came as the light, the life of men. Because he shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Woo! Glory! Hallelujah! I'm going to get to preaching in a minute, y'all. This is some good stuff right here. And then we go on in the Word and he's talking about the ferment. Being in the midst of the people and he's talking about that separation that we see will happen at the return of Christ when he'll gather together the nations, the many waters. He'll gather them together and he'll separate. And we see that he'll do that when the church ascends into heaven. He will gather his children together and he will take those waters, those people, those nations that are serving him and take them up into the heavens. And we see that there will still be people here on this earth even after the church ascends into heaven. And that we also see that at the return of Jesus Christ, 
to, for his thousand year reign, God yet did not make a full end. And we see he will do the exact same things that we saw happened in the beginning. And Jesus told us in, in Matthew 21 and 25 when he talks about the tribulation that was here from the beginning of the world. Y'all, this is an amazing revelation from the Holy Spirit of God. And if I was not able to help you understand that word, you get with me, leave me a message. I will do all I'm able to do to help you understand that word. Because that is my greatest joy. Is when people leave me messages and says, Donna, I saw that. The Holy Spirit brought that word to me, and I understood. Whoo, thank you, Jesus. That is my greatest joy. I'd like to thank all of you for all of your comments, and uh, I'm glad to be back on, be back out here and to preach this gospel. And all of you that have asked me to pray for you, I would like to tell you that I do pray for you, and you are in my prayers and I love you, and you are precious to me and to the Lord. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you that stand with me in these last days in this amazing gospel. Because I tell you what, y'all, I love this word. This word is my life, and I love this word. And I'm so thankful to the Holy Spirit of God for giving me the words to tell to the church. And for that, I'm truly thankful. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you because you are precious and you are dear to the body of Christ. And I thank you all in Jesus Christ's most holy name. God bless you all.